I folks Total Sail Solutions in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell trucks. Gosh, folks, we sell lots of them, and we sold one of every kind in the world. The truck we're going to list today is a truck that uh, you don't have to worry about anyone else having one like it because they don't. If you're interested or need a truck like this for your everyday driver or pull your boat or put to work on a farm or the place, it's, it's ready for that. It's an odd truck in some ways, but it's cool. It's a 2005 Ford F-350, dual <coughs> wheels, turbo diesel, 6.0, but it's been deleted and all that, so you don't have to worry about it. It's ready to go. Lariat. Lariat package, a little over 200,000 miles is all. Now, most people who put this kind of body on trucks just get a work truck, but this is a loaded up Lariat, folks, with everything. It's got uh, uh, heated seats on both sides, windows, door locks, tilt and cruise, got the uh, touchstone radio, uh, power mirrors, got everything sitting on a uh, matching set of tires, good tires. Uh, just a really nice truck. I would assume it belonged to some supervisor who slipped this Lariat package by his boss and uh, so he could ride in more comfort and style while he was reasoning around the work sites. You can see, as we're gonna show you, it's not been abused in any way. Here it is. Uh, it's got... Uh, it's got number? the custom grill. It's got fog lights. The headlights aren't faded. The bumper's in good shape. And when we got this truck, the clear coat was peeling on it, so I got a buddy of mine paints hundred thousand dollar muscle cars and stuff. He was a little slow. Had him go ahead and just paint the whole truck. I mean, you can read a newspaper in this paint really job, white but it's always been white. It wasn't wrecked. Didn't need any body work. See this? See what you can look at it and tell that. These are 08 style power mirrors. It's been you upgraded can, can with that. Seeing folks looking up in the door jam. It's never been on. A, it's never been a work truck. Carpets are perfect, heated seats, power seat, Same power pedals, here. automatic headlights, steering wheel controls, got a JVC touchscreen stereo, auto climate, automatic rear view Headliner mirror. Headliner is perfect. It is an extended cab. You can look back here. It doesn't appear that anyone's ever been back there from the looks of the carpet and all that sliding rear mirrors. Slide rear window, I mean. Uh, this is not a cheap bed by any stretch of the imagination and look i think it's a nap heat or something i don't think anyone's been hauling tools in it even it doesn't appear that you can look under here folks it's a, obviously no rust or any of that it's a southern truck it's a local truck what they've done it did go straight across and they've cut down the back to have room for a gooseneck they probably pulled a little equipment trailer or something and but you can see here they uh, did it well it's not bent and banged and beat up in any way you look down the sides of it folks the lines are straight and anyway we had to change batteries you can see down the side it's not beat up and chipped up these these compartments are clean as a pen inside you can go over here uh, we'll look here like I say it's a lariat package uh, carpet is just Perfect. Look up at the door jams here, son. Uh, and it's got heated seats on both sides. Dash it and cracked or peeling. All oh, that's good on it. This truck lends itself to a lot of things. It'd be a cool truck to have around to pull a big boat with, or just to use to drive, hunt camp, whatever. But also, if you have a work site or you need a truck like this, to work, it's ready to go to work. I mean, I don't know what that bid cost, but it's a uh, that bid cost several thousand dollars. I can promise you. But it's a nice truck, kind of a funny truck to be uh, uh, set up like it is and be a lariat. But that's all to your benefit. We're going to we're going to sell it. We'll have a low reserve. Uh, if you have any questions about this truck, give Dan a call 601-720. 2857. He'll be glad to tell you anything about it. You can call him anytime, weekends, early in the morning, late at night. Now, he won't answer, but he'll call you back. But it's a really nice truck. Dan's going to give you 
ride and drive in it, show you how everything works. It's a, just, just a pretty nice truck, folks. A 2004 Ford F350, one ton turbo diesel, dual rear wheels, uh, the Lariat package, got everything you can imagine on the inside, heavily equipped, just a nice truck that would lend itself to about anything you want to do with it. Thanks for watching our video, folks. We appreciate it. Look forward to visiting with you about this truck. Seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. Hi, folks. Dan Dell here. You've been listening to my dad talk about this truck. Now I'm going to take you on a test drive. But before I do, just want to show you a few things under the hood. First of all, we don't clean under hood. This is just how this truck came in. But what that will tell you is you can see how clean it is. Uh, radiator has been replaced at some point. Alternator has been replaced. Both the batteries are just a few months old, so they're basically brand new. But the main thing I want to show you is, you can see, no blow-by. Not even, maybe just a tiny wisp of smoke, but the main thing is, you can see I set the oil fill cap down and it doesn't blow off. <coughs> if it were to blow off, that would mean blow-by. And all that is, that's engine compression getting past the piston rings and into the crankcase not necessarily the sign of a bad engine but it's a sign of wear that this truck doesn't have uh, the other thing it does have though got a uh, K&N cold air intake that's a few hundred dollars but uh, now we're gonna hop in and take you on a test drive okay now we're in the truck um, you can see it's got the JVC touchscreen stereo got automatic climate got the uh, tow command they call it does have the power sliding rear window you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work because I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the worst roads in the city of Jackson not to mention it's trying to start raining but uh, rest assured one thing you take away from all these bumps and potholes I'm running over is that this truck is tight there's no squeaks rattles bangs no thunks from the front end um, it does ride a lot better than it may look in this video just because of these Jackson roads, but uh, this truck fires right up, hot or cold, and you, whether you buy from us or whomever, you always want to hear a Power Stroke diesel crank cold because if they got injector issues or FICOM issues, then they, they're only going to show it cold. They may run perfect hot and then run like three-legged dog cold but this one doesn't have any of those issues runs perfect hot or cold goes down the road just like it should I'm doing 60 I just set the cruise so the little cruise light came on I'll turn it off all that stuff works like it should um, like dad was saying it's just unusual to see a truck with the utility bed, that's, that's a Lariat. That's not just an old stripped down work truck, A or B, is just beat to death. And this truck is, is neither one of those. Um, like I said, the only reason I painted it is the clear coat was peeling. Didn't have any, didn't need any body work, none of that. Um, but this paint job, you know, a lot of paint jobs, they look great in pictures, but when you see them in person, they look horrible. I don't know if you can see in this video that reflection of the clouds and the trees on the hood, but man, this is some kind of nice paint job. I mean, it is super nice, super shiny. No issues with the paint whatsoever. Um, if you want to fly in, drive this truck home, you can. I wouldn't hesitate to hop in it and drive it absolutely anywhere. It, uh, like I said, it fires right up, hot or cold, goes down the road just like it should. Got a good set of tires on it. Um, we'll be glad to pick you up at the airport here in Jackson, Mississippi. No extra charge. Pretty much everybody flies there. It's not a big deal to get here. Uh, you can see the steering wheel. I got the leather steering wheel. It's in good shape. Not ripped or torn or any of that. Um, the only thing... I know of that don't work. Well, obviously the steering wheel controls don't work. It's aftermarket radio. Um, beyond that, I'm I haven't really uh, 
I haven't found anything else that doesn't work just like it should. It, um, well, obviously with the work bed, it doesn't have parking sensors anymore. So, you know, there's that, but see automatic dim and rear view mirror, got the overhead console for your, uh, sunglasses and for storage. Um, now I haven't checked the CD player cause I don't have any CDs, but it does have one. Uh, it's got Bluetooth, Pandora, uh, what else? Satellite, Sirius XM, um, does have, it's set up for a backup camera. Probably have to, no signal, yeah. You can get a backup camera on Amazon for like 10 or 15 bucks. If you buy this truck and, and want to, you can send it to us and we'll hook it up. It ain't no big deal. Um, missing the little cap for your overdrive or tow haul mode, but you can still push the button. And that's about it for nitpicking, really. I mean, there's uh, not much to, to go over on it. The windshield's brand new, so you don't have to worry about any rock picks or cracks or any of that. Um, dash doesn't have any cracks in it. The uh, does have the tow command. You can see it's beeping because I don't have a trailer hooked to it, but it is there, it works. Um, like dad said this truck is deleted so you know everybody or a lot of people are scared of six o's they think they got problems well there's two reasons six o's have problems one's the egr cooler but this one's deleted it's gone so you don't have to worry about it the second is people didn't service them right they treated them like seven threes and just kept the oil topped off and that's not good enough you've got to service these engines you got to change the oil every 5,000 miles. You got to change the fuel filters, every other oil change, and you got to use Ford filters. If you do that, these motors will last just as long or longer than the 7.3 and make way more horsepower. I mean, once you drive a 6.0, a 7.3 is just a, a slow, slow turtle, like my seven-year-old would say. Uh, it is not even worth talking about. These engines got more power. They're quieter. They got the five-speed automatic instead of the four-speed. They pull better, faster, just everything. But you got to delete them. If you delete the, the EGR cooler, and if you do decide to run a tuner, don't go over about 75 horsepower, and you'll be fine. Now, if you want to crank the horsepower way up, you'll have to stud it, which a lot of people, they call that bulletproofing, but basically it's putting head studs in it. And if you want to run a big tune, that's you got to do that. But if you're not going to run a big tune and you deleted the EGR cooler, it's not necessary to stub one, despite what you may hear. It's not necessary. But uh, anyway, if you have any questions about this truck, call me. And you know, if, if you're like a lot of our customers, you're, you're looking down south, you want a good deal, a good price, and a rust free truck. And we got that. Uh, both those covered but we understand not everybody has time to spend several days flying or driving down and then driving home so don't let the idea of having to ship it scare you off or if you look online for price quotes don't let the prices you get scare you off because depending on how much of a hurry you're in we can save you as much as half off the reason for that is all these people you find online and most of the ones you even find on you ship aren't actual truck drivers they're not drivers they're not don't have a fleet of trucks out on the road they're just brokers and they'll charge you hundreds of dollars and they'll call it a deposit but all it really is is their fee for brokering the load with the actual shipper and they all use this one website called central dispatch that's not open to the public to post the loads well we're on central dispatch we uh, pay all the fees, jump through all the hoops to be on there so we can offer our customers basically wholesale rates on shipping. And we don't charge a markup or a fee or anything. It's a free service to our customers. If you're interested, shoot me a text or an email with your zip code and I'll get back to you with a good ballpark figure on shipping. And if you're anywhere near Houston or Dallas or Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida, then I can get you a real good deal on shipping. But just contact me for a quote. But understand, now I'm not the actual shipper. So if you win this truck on one day and you expect to 
to be at your doorstep the next day, it ain't gonna happen like that. Uh, from the time I get paid, I post it, it averages three to five days. Now sometimes we get it done even the same day we post it. Uh, but if people are off the beaten path, it can take longer. So, you know, if you're interested, shoot me a text or an email with your zip and I'll get you a good ballpark figure on shipping. It'll be a smooth, easy deal. One thing before I go, just want to show you the dash. You can see no warning lights, no service lights, any of that. I like to show the dash after we've been driving a while because, you know, it's easy to, to kill a light on the dash with your scan tool, take a picture and say, oh, look, no lights. But then when you start driving, if, you, if there's a problem, you haven't fixed it, that light's going to come right back on. So we like to show it after we've been driving a while so you can see there really are no lights. So, like I said, if you have any questions, call me. If you want to make an offer, call me, any of that. Just give me a call, 601-376-9869. Appreciate you watching the video, hearing everything we have to say. Look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you.